Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I mainly cover tactical and immersive games. Today, I'm back with Gunner Heat PC, and I want to revisit an old mission that I did when the North Fields map came out. And when I last played it, it was probably one of the most hardest missions, and I barely survived in it. And so, I want to redo this mission, but I want to implement more tactics, such as deploying a proper hold down, doing brim drills, and using the terrain for better chances of survivability. Before we go on, I know a lot of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet, so please do so to help my small channel to grow, and leave that like if you enjoyed this video. By the way, I just recently launched a public Discord server, so come join my community if you're an enthusiast or if you love games, and to stay up to date on my stuff. And so now for the tactics. So what is a hold down position? To keep things simple, a hold down position is when the main body of the tank, which is the most vulnerable part, is behind a crest of a hill or a raised ground or cover. And so the only exposed part would be your turret. Essentially, a hold down position is using the terrain, such as a hill or high ground, to your advantage and minimizes your exposure. Another tactic is using berm drills, which is similar to a hold down position when you're in a dugout or on the crest of a hill. You would reverse every time you would fire, so you're not exposing your tank when you're reloading. Of course, there's more to it, but that's the basics of it. Not often gamers are aware of such tactics that exist, and I think it's important to realize that there are proper tank tactics and positioning, and it's not always running and gunning in the open. And so I want to hear from you, how often do you try to deploy tank tactics, like in games like Squad, Arma, or other tank games and simulators? In this mission, where we're playing Kinetic Key, the enemy consists of 3 to 4 platoons of T-72 M1s and BMPs that will be attacking an objective near our position. We're going to be playing as an M60A3 platoon that is tasked to defend a nearby objective. The enemy does have the numbers advantage, but the M60A3s are pretty capable of taking out the T-72s. So yeah, I just want to demonstrate that having a good sense of tank tactics and awareness in the back of your head is good to have and it could be advantageous to you in most game settings. So let's get right into it. Alright, here we are with our M60s rolling out. It's been a while since we last played them and they got a huge update. Especially with the thermals, they look a lot more low res and so zooming in to, you know, far range targets will look a lot more like a blur. And so we're going to have to rely a lot more on the uh, day sites. But yeah, I encourage you guys to check out my previous videos on the Gunner HPC updates because they added a lot more updates to it. And yeah, if you want to know more, check it out. So, yeah, that's one thing that they changed for the M60s and also the M1s as well. So what we'll do is we'll move up to the high ground up here and we'll get set up. What we'll do is we'll control one thing at a time because right now I don't really trust my teammate AIs to know what they're doing. And so anytime we need to reload and I'll s or if our tank is destroyed, then I'll switch to the next tank. It might be hard on us, but I think it's safer that way. And we we'll get them to halt. Scan the horizon. So we got some targets on the left, middle, and right. The I don't know if we'll lose them, but I'll try to get this one. Oh, target destroyed. He's telling us to go for the ones on the right, I believe. Nope, don't see him just yet. You see some PCs. Alright. You can go for him. Target hit. They're destroyed. Oh, they're angry at us. A little short. Every time we reload, we'll just fall back and then when we're ready, we'll move up. Target destroyed. I got another one on the left side. He's moving across. Oh, he stopped. We got some tanks on the left that are firing out at us. Fire on the way. 
Okay, I hate it how they stop sometimes. That actually screws up our the rangefinder a little bit. Oh, retract! All right, moving up to the next tank. Okay, so we traded a few for one. All right, let's go for him. I get destroyed. The M60s are definitely capable of taking the 72s out, even though they're a little bit older. And hit. I get a hit. Worry about the right side a little bit, but try to take them out as much as we can here. Miss that one. He sees on the right. I'm going to switch to the other tank because he's closer to the left side right here. We'll be able to see them soon. Yep. They're destroyed. Nice. Oh, these arties are pretty scary. And they throw you off for a bit, too. There they are. Hit. That's more. Still up? Nope. Uh, fire. Kind of nice to see that fire coming out from these tanks. It's satisfying. I get destroyed. There you go. Ooh. The left side a bit. Still going? Yeah, he's still going. Ooh. There are my sights. We're gonna destroy it. Okay. What else do we got? One of our tanks are down. Got PCs now. Now we got heat. Ooh. We got hit somewhere. We're gonna reposition a little bit. So our, our fourth thing is watching our flank. So I think that's good. Oh, I do see a tank moving up. Okay, I'm gonna go for that tank right there. Okay, that's dangerous. Come on, come on, come on. Hold that heat up. There you go. Now we got the PCs. Which can be deadly to us, so... Under. Oh. Nope. We hit them, but no effect. Can't see him. Yeah, I see him now. Nice. Good hit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we did it. He falling back? Yeah, he's falling back. But man, I think we only lost two tanks. Let me deal with them first. There you go. Got the last target. Okay, I think we. Let me check how many tanks are still alive. Not too bad. We, um, two tanks survived out of this whole ordeal. All right, so I just showed you all that through the importance of tactical positioning, such as hold down and 
doing beta berms can help you in this mission and increases your chance of survivability. As last seen in my previous video of this mission, it was pretty chaotic, but as you learn to have tactical knowledge, it can definitely help you in a lot of scenarios. In this mission, we were fighting against a whole company of T-72s and BMPs versus a platoon of M60s, which are very capable tanks. And yeah, I just wanted to redo this mission with having that tactical knowledge. And I hope that this will encourage you to read up and to study more on that. And I also hope that this video is helpful in demonstrating that. So unfortunately, my game crashed during the after action review. So I can't really show you that, but I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to stay up to date. And don't forget to drop into my Discord in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video.